The world is a very sensitive place these days, and nowhere is that more apparent than anything that has to do with geek culture. Men and women both feel like they're being attacked every single time anything happens. A new Ghostbusters comes out featuring women. Men all scream, this is pandering and pushing a feminist agenda. And women scream, men are sexist if they don't go see it. The Rogue One trailer comes out featuring a female lead character, two Asian men, and Forrest fucking Whitaker, and guys go ape shit over the Star Wars universe trying to be diverse for the sake of selling more tickets. Age of Ultron got shit on by women for being sexist with the way Black Widow seems to get passed around the Avengers, first with Hawkeye and then Hulk. Basically, everything gets taken way out of context by someone. And the most recent issue, well, assuming you watch this before the next movie, video game, or comic comes out that doesn't represent males or females the way one or the other wants them to be represented, was a billboard advertising X-Men Apocalypse. Rose McGowan, known better as the girl with the gun for a leg in Robert Rodriguez's Planet Terror, and as, holy shit, the girl with the gun on her leg from Planet Terror is in this old Pauly Shore movie on cable, recently shared a Facebook post from a woman who was offended by the new X-Men Apocalypse billboard, which shows Apocalypse, a member of the mutated patriarchy, choking Mystique, a small blue defenseless woman. Rose included the original post and her own commentary. Fuck this shit. Which studio did this? The answer, of course, being 20th Century Fox, the studio that distributed the 2001 Brendan Fraser film Monkey Bone that she appeared in. She followed up her eloquent Facebook post with the following. There's a major problem when the men and women at 20th Century Fox think casual violence against women is the way to market a film. This doesn't seem overly casual. It looks relatively formal to me. He's in uniform and everything. There's no context in the ad, just a woman getting strangled. Well, the context is that Apocalypse is a bad guy, and he's doing a bad guy thing. The fact that no one flagged this is offensive and, frankly, stupid. The genius is behind this, and I use that term lightly. Actually, you use the term sarcastically, but I'm mansplaining again. Need to take a long, hard look at the mirror and see how they are contributing to society. They aren't contributing to society. They're advertising stupid superhero movies for dudes to drag their girlfriends to on a Friday night. That's what Hollywood does. Imagine if it were a black man being strangled by a white man, or a gay male being strangled by a hetero. The outcry would be enormous. I don't know how one would know that it was a gay guy getting strangled by a straight guy, unless the guy was dressed like a member of the village people or something, but it's an action movie. People are fighting, and that's what they're trying to show. Should they not market an action movie with, I don't know, action? I don't look at this billboard and think, Oh, cool, this movie features a guy just strangling the shit out of chicks. I can't wait to go watch it, right after I choke a bitch, of course. If I didn't know anything about the X-Men, I'd think, Oh, that large blue man is probably a bad person, fighting a good person. And sure, a few fucking idiots might not take it that way. But that would be like saying, well, Archie being racist on All in the Family was bad because bigots would side with him, even though the majority understood that he was the buffoon in the show. Also, I don't know if you know this, but if you go to the movie, you're going to see this scene and many like it. I bet Jennifer Lawrence's Mystique character gets the shit kicked out of her. Probably by guys. And I bet she kicks the shit out of some characters, including men. Same with Olivia Munn's Psylocke, Sophie Turner's Jean Grey, and Alexandra Shipp's Storm. If you want to create movies with strong female characters, you have to expect that there will be depictions of violence against them, too. Otherwise, where's the conflict? Why would I ever go watch a movie where there's no struggle? Oh no! Apocalypse is destroying humankind! Oh, but wait! The female X-Men have shown up! Apocalypse is one weakness! Female characters! He can't fight them because that would be offensive and give young men bad ideas about how to treat women. So he runs away, and the world is saved! Hooray! Also, the X-Men changed their name to the X-People because it was sexist before! The world is saved again! Hooray!
Roll the post credit scene where the male ex people make the women breakfast and clean Xavier's mansion. Not as a reward for a job well done, but because it's the right thing to do. Hooray! Of course, I'm not saying Hollywood isn't unbalanced. Shit. I'm certainly not saying that there aren't shitty people in the world who commit violence against women simply because they're women. But, I think this particular instance, suggesting this billboard has no context and is promoting violence against women is, in itself, taking it out of context. It's an ad for an action movie. Could they have picked a better photo? Sure. And Fox has already apologized for it, because that's what you do now when someone says they're offended. That's why all these PR people have jobs. And who knows, maybe they did it knowing full well it would get people pissed off and go viral, meaning more publicity for a movie that's not getting great reviews and is not making as much money as previous X-Men flicks, and certainly not as much money as the Disney Marvel movies do. But the constant outrage over everything is just starting to become white noise. No one on either side of the argument picks their battles. Everything is DEFCON 1. The alarm is always going off, so you just get used to it. So from now on, I'm just going to enjoy comics and video games and superhero movies and assume that I'm a bad person because of it and know that every aspect about them is offensive to someone and I'm not going to apologize for my enjoyment. Of course I'm not. I'm a white 30-something middle-class male. According to the internet, I'm practically the equivalent of a giant blue monster man choking a small blue woman on a billboard. Rose McGowan, Billboard Police. Written, voiced, and produced by Buckley. Young boys don't need to pay $10 to see a woman get choked. That's what mom and stepdad are for. <laughs>